Hello from the Bureau, here with an update on ex-tropical cyclone Owen and the risk of it re-intensifying into a cyclone in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Last night Owen moved into the Gulf and we can start to see those thunderstorms wrapping around the system. As it stays over those warm sea surface temperatures, it's taking in a lot of energy and we could see it be renamed tomorrow. The current track shows Owen moving west over the Gulf and becoming a Category 1 system tomorrow morning after which we see it intensifying as it makes a bit of a U-turn back towards the Queensland coast. There is a risk of it becoming a severe tropical cyclone with category three strength as it stays over water. That's with sustained winds of 120 kilometers an hour near the center of the system. The gray area also shows other possible tracks the system could take. So we do have a current warning from Cape Shield in the NT all the way down to Burketown in Queensland, including both Groot and Mornington Islands. This is where we could see gale force winds of 64 kilometers an hour and greater within the next 24 hours. Owen may also bring significant rainfall through areas of the Gulf of Carpentaria as it tracks across. The heavier falls will depend on the movement and position of the system, as well as where we see those bands starting to wrap in. 24 hour totals of 25 to 50 millimetres are likely through the coastal areas with heavier falls of 50 to 100 millimetres possible. If the system does track closer to land, we could see those numbers increase. Rainfall may also extend into Queensland if the system starts to track inland, bringing that tropical moisture with it. A flood watch is current for Southern Cape York Peninsula and North Tropical Coast of Queensland. The tropical cyclone advice will continue to be updated during this event. So for the latest information and warnings, see our website or app, and please follow any advice from your local emergency services.